When selling your home, you want to get the most money for it, right? Well, I'm going to let you in on the 10 things that you must do right now before selling your home. My name is Nina Gervasi with Cary Area Real Estate, brokered by eXp, and I answer the most frequently asked questions that I get about real estate here on YouTube. So let's get started. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is declutter. And then when you think you're done, declutter some more and some more. Why is that? Well, first of all, you have to box that stuff up anyway to start moving it out. And you're going to need to decide, am I keeping it or getting rid of it? Most people choose to get rid of things just the way it goes. So yeah, start with the decluttering and make it look more spacious and more open. Let those buyers be able to come in and envision their items in your home. The more personal things that you have, the more clutter you have everywhere, the less attractive it looks to those buyers and the harder it is for them to envision themselves in your home. So yeah, start with decluttering, do it again and again and again. While you're decluttering, you may come across boxes or folders full of warranties, brochures, and other things related to the house. It's a really good idea to start putting them away in a separate area and collecting those for the new buyers. So while you're decluttering, look for those things, collect them, keep them together, and package them up nicely for the new buyers. They will be so grateful, and then you'll be happy you're not searching for them after you're gone in some box that got put in the attic and you can't find it anymore. Next up is taking care of all those neglected maintenance items that you've just been postponing a little too long. For example, get the gutters cleaned, maintain that loose railing that's outside, get that fixed. Get the plumbing fixed if you have a leaky faucet someplace. Walk the perimeter of the house. Check to make sure that you don't have any rotting boards or anything rotting around windows. Although as a seller in North Carolina, you are not obligated to make any repairs whatsoever, you want that buyer to come in and offer you the most amount of money possible. And when they see that the house has been well taken care of, that's when you're gonna get the most money. So yeah, take care of those neglected maintenance items and see the money coming in. Speaking of neglected items, you need to make sure that your curb appeal is top notch. I know you're thinking, Nina, how much could it matter if the bushes are trimmed, the trees look good or whatever? A lot. Don't forget that first impressions really matter. And as they're pulling up to your house, you want them to say, wow, this is gorgeous. Especially when you are doing the photographs for the home. The first photo is typically the exterior of the home and you want those buyers to be wowed by what they see. So whether it's putting in new flowers, trimming the bushes, getting the lawn trimmed, and making sure that you have fresh mulch outside, these are the things that are going to matter for the photos, first impressions as buyers pull up. Next up, painting your home because the colors that you like may not be the colors that everybody else likes and you want to be as neutral and pleasing as possible in order to attract the most buyers as possible. So before you go and say, Nina, I just had the house painted a couple years ago. I don't need to do it all over again. You may not need to. You may be able to get away with just doing some touch up painting here or there. But before you touch up the paint, be sure that you test this small area because maybe the walls have faded quite a bit. Maybe that paint has gone bad. Don't go putting that all over the place until you've tested it because that tends to stand out as you're walking through the house or in the photographs. And you know what? Maybe you'll be able to get away with just painting one or two rooms. Maybe you might have to paint the whole house. None of my sellers have ever regretted investing the money and getting the house painted because it looks phenomenal in photos and when the buyers show up. And just a little side note, Sherwin-Williams happens to make a paint line that has air purifying technology. It helps to absorb odors and different chemicals from the air. And that works really well if you happen to have pets in the home or really strong cooking odors. There you have it. So get that house painted. If you can get away with touch-ups, go ahead and do touch-ups and be sure to check out that Sherwin-Williams paint line that has the air purifying technology built in. Let's talk flooring. 
it's time for you to evaluate your carpeting, your hardwood floors, your tile floor, and decide, hey, can that just be professionally cleaned or do I actually have to replace it? And some people hate replacing carpet and that sort of thing because they think it's going to be a crazy amount of money. But the best part is when you work with me, you will actually get a large discount on those types of vendors. So yeah, we really need to evaluate, does that carpet need to be replaced? Should we look at perhaps if needed, only if it's really needed, getting your hardwood floors refinished? Most of the time that's not the case. But if you have a lot of cracks in your tile floor and it's destroyed, that might be something that you may want to consider replacing as well. So we're going to do a full evaluation of the floors. Most of the time it's just getting that carpet replaced. It is not as much money as you think it's going to be and it will definitely attract those buyers to thinking, hey, this house has been really well maintained. I don't have to come in and do anything. I can just move right in. Now that we've taken care of all the maintenance items around the house and we've got it painted and floor is done, it is time to get your home staged. Now, some people think, how much does staging really do, Nina? Actually, it makes a huge difference in the photos and in the videos, which are the first thing that people are going to see making the first impression. So you wanna have a professional stager come in and give you some advice. Can we use your items that are in the home or do we have to bring in some of their staging items in order for it to look attractive for today's buyers? Now you want to appeal to a wide audience and you want it to be as neutral and as pleasing as possible. So yes, you've taken out all of your items and you thought, Nina, it was decorated before, it was fine. We want it to be modern, ready, clean, and attractive for the photos and the videos so that those people that are out there watching are saying, that's the house for me. Before people start coming through your home, it is a really great idea to have the home professionally cleaned because although you don't really notice the dust that's along the baseboards or in the corners of the bathrooms or other places, yeah, those buyers and their agents are going to look at everything where they're coming through. So having the home professionally clean, sparkling, gorgeous, windows, bright, shiny, that's going to make a huge difference. It's a little bit of money, yes, I get it, but it's going to shine, it's going to smell fantastic, and that's what you want. You want your home to shine, you want it to look immaculate, you wanna give those buyers nothing to complain about, so that once again, they are offering you more money for your home. All right, your home is ready. Let's get those professional photos and videos done because they are going to make an enormous difference when the people are searching online. There are those people who think, hey, I'm just gonna take photos with my phone and edit it myself. Nope, no way, not the way we're gonna go. Because those professional photos, they're done in such a magnificent way that when you compare two different photos, people are naturally attracted to the ones with the professional photos. And the video can be a simple walkthrough video or it can be a drone video. So much that we can do with your home depending on the size and the location. We wanna showcase your home in the best way possible. Professional photos and video are the way to go each and every time, hands down. Something that I recommend to my sellers is interviewing movers early in the process. You wanna find out how much is that storage unit going to cost? How much will it cost to move it cross country? And how long will it take? Those are all really important questions that you should be finding out up front. So start interviewing movers early in the process so that you are not surprised or rushing at the end and then everybody's all booked up. Interview those movers. I have a list of recommendations for you. Find out what the costs will be and get them booked because you know what? There's gonna be a lot of other people moving and you don't wanna be left behind. And here's a really great bonus tip for all my sellers out there. For the first weekend that you are going to go active on the market, I highly recommend that you are out of town because the goal was to have as many people coming in as possible. So hopefully it is like a revolving door in your house and people will be coming in constantly. And you know what? You just don't wanna be in and out of the house every hour, depending on when those people make those appointments for. 
So for the first weekend that you go active, I highly recommend that you plan on being out of the house. Perhaps take a trip to the beach or go someplace. This is gonna be a really busy weekend between open houses and people coming. You wanna be out of the house for sure, just to make your life easier and not to be running into people or interfering. So there you have it, 10 things you should do before selling your home, plus a bonus. And if you found this helpful, be sure to watch this video next, which explains the difference between the due diligence fee and the earnest money deposit. Because as a seller, you should also know the difference. Be sure to give this a like, share with anybody else who you think may be selling their home. Subscribe so you never miss another tip that I share here on YouTube. And happy home buying and selling here in North Carolina.